What up? T-Bob here. And Jake as well. And look at you. You done stumbled upon little OTB Saints, where we bring you all the latest black and gold coverage. Who are the Saints going to draft? Who's going to be their quarterback? What does the salary cap look like? All that information and more. Hope you enjoy it. Like, subscribe. Uh, so, ESPN.com ranked the 32 NFL rosters. And uh, the New Orleans Saints, not the worst, not the best, right? I mean, like, you know, I never know in these things. Uh, again, this is a team that has the least amount of bets, or did a few weeks of the least amount of bets in the entirety of the NFL to win the Super Bowl. So nobody believes in them. Dennis Allen was, uh, well, what poll was that? Was that a player or fan poll? When Dennis Allen was chosen as, chosen as literally uh, the worst coach in the entire NFL. I guess what I'm getting at is there's a lot of reasons where I thought maybe I was going to open this list and the Saints would be at like 25 or 26, right? A struggling offensive line, uh, an aging defense. When you talk about relying on like Cam Jordan, Demario Davis, Tyre Matthew. Um, Derek Carr isn't exciting for people at all. Of course, if you're just ranking rosters, then like somebody like Clint Kubiak, you, you, you can't use him. As a as a boon or saying, oh yes, well he will make this work. No, it's just supposed to be what you have on your roster. Uh, so you know what? Color me a bit surprised. Um, the New Orleans Saints come in twenty if on this list twentieth, uh, which is not great. Again, you obviously don't want to be in the bottom half of this list. Um, but when you look at your peers, it's also not the worst because. Who checks in at number 19? The Atlanta Falcons. Who checks in at number 22? The Tampa Bay Buccaneers, right behind you. And then uh, who checks in at number 29, I believe? The Carolina Panthers. So, uh, you may be kind of bad, but you're right on the edge of being the best of the bad. And that's all you got to be in the NFL. That's all you got to be this season. You need to win the NFC South. It's something that we gave you the benefit of the doubt for for the last two years, right? The last two years, the offseason narrative on the New Orleans Saints has been, well, they should win the South because everybody else sucks just a little worse. Like, yes, they suck probably, but everybody else sucks a little worse. Uh, and especially was the case last offseason where you bring in Derek Carr, Tampa brings in Baker Mayfield, and everybody's kind of like, okay, yeah, like absolutely now. All this division's garbage. But the Saints should be the best of the garbage. Uh, that did not come to pass. Um, and yet, here we sit again. And, well, I don't think many are, are going to predict this. They definitely has as good of a shot as any of winning this division. In fact, the only team that feels like they don't have a shot, I, I guess, are the Panthers. Um, the Falcons roster may be better. I still do have some major questions about the Falcons uh, defensively. That said... I think the Raheem Morris hire is probably a good one. Um, if, if for nothing else, then maybe just a bit of change or shakeup was needed in Atlanta after a few Arthur Smith years uh, culminating in last season where you just, you know, you have a, like that's the funny part about the, the, the Falcons disconnect is here their roster sits one slot ahead of you because they have these elite offensive weapons. But why did Arthur Smith get fired? Because he refused to engage with these elite offensive weapons. He refused to play them or or highlight them or 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 manipulate creative matchups for them. Now that maybe changes under Raheem Morris, we'll see. But in the same way, uh Falcons and Saints, always two peas in a pod, whether it's in failing together, hating each other, or maybe randomly getting good at times, uh, both seem to leave a lot on the table offensively last year. Now both are looking to fix it. I love the Clint Kubiak angle to maybe take this roster and put it right ahead of Atlanta, even um, though they rank once about ahead of you on this list. Uh, Taylor, uh, our resident Baker Mayfield correspondent, how do Baker and the Bucks feel about being ranked behind both teams that they finished ahead of last season? Uh, you know, I didn't ask them, so I'm not sure. I don't think it really matters at this point in the season. I mean, I think last year the Bucs were actually projected to have, like, the worst record in the NFL. Like, a lot of people thought they'd finish dead last. I will say this, though. Like, the Saints being ranked ahead of the Panthers and the Bucs does kind of make sense to me. I mean, we talked about it. Like, the Bucs didn't make any big moves. They just kind of brought back the guys they needed to, which, I mean, 
you had a roster that won the NFC South. Good on you, but but yeah, it's I a little bit of Saints, a dangerous tact. Yeah, I thought in, the Saints yeah. drafted a little bit better. I mean, if you could sneak up on the Falcons, like you could win this division. Um, and again, like, do we have any great reason? I mean, I guess yeah. I mean, I guess Kirk Cousins, in the same way that Derek Carr was the reasons last year. You think that Kirk Cousins is going to be the reason this year uh, why well, maybe the Falcons are in the driver's seat, even though I still got questions about how you come back from an Achilles tear. But if anybody can do it, quarterback's probably the friendliest position to do it. And um, you know Kirko's going to put in the work, if nothing else. And reportedly, he looks great in that regard. Uh, for what it's worth, the New York Giants were given the worst roster in the entirety of the NFL. I don't know that there's been a more... Just a bathingly, bathingly bad recent run of front office moves than the 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 New York Giants decisions. Whether it's that hilarious picture of Dave Gettleman um, with his giant notebook on a crappy little laptop trying to figure out how the internet works to draft players, choosing to pay Daniel Jones that insane amount of money over Saquon Barkley and others because like you just thought it was Daniel Jones bringing you success. For some reason, even though he does this wide-eyed thing that's as weird as Adam Gase or, like, I don't know. Daniel Jones is not to be trusted. But anyway, um, I feel bad for Malik Neighbors. Giants given the worst roster in the entire NFL. Uh, the Broncos with their projected starter of Bo Nix at 30. Jaden Daniels in the commies at, uh, excuse me, at 31. Jaden Daniels in the commies at 30. Good luck on Jaden. I was a bit surprised, though, because I feel like the commanders have a pretty good roster, but. He added a lot in the offseason. I mean, you had Eckler. You added a couple of receiving weapons for him. I mean, I, I don't think it's a terrible roster. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But ESPN does, apparently, and Bill Barnwell and company. And I would say he knows. So, um, in terms of who's first on this list, uh, you have uh, you have the Detroit Lions checking in at five. The New York Jets checking in at four. You know, ESPN and Greeny love some Aaron Rodgers talk. So uh, it's a pretty smart play by them there. The Ravens checking in at three. That makes all the sense in the world. The Ravens feel like they've had a top five solid roster in the NFL for damn near 20 years now. Um, it's just constant with those guys. The Chiefs come in at number two because if you have Patrick Mahomes on your team, nothing else matters. And uh, the San Francisco 49ers, wouldn't you know it, the number one roster in the NFL, even with the Trey Lance debacle still sitting there just a couple of years ago. But uh, you're New Orleans Saints, checking in at 20. Again, Derek Carr, top 12 quarterback. I will never stop banging the drum. Um, Taylor, before we move on from this, anything else that you wanted to uh, comment on from this list? Um, I really thought the Saints would be lower as well, just because, like you mentioned, um, the opinion around the league is not very high on Carr especially, but no. – Maybe people are starting to come around. I mean, we it was the the player list you were asking about earlier. Dennis Allen was very last on that list. And it was then, a player. It yeah, was a player. It was list. a player list. And a couple That's people so um, <laughs> put out these roster um, rankings a couple weeks ago. New Orleans was coming in at like 27, 28. I mean, moving up a little bit. You're allowed to get better in the offseason. It kind of seems like that's the look around the NFL now. Look, it all comes down to the offensive line, man, for the Saints team. If that offensive line is middle of the pack, I think this will be a very good offense. Uh, if they suck, then obviously disaster and nothing works. But, like, I don't think they have to be great. They just have to be solid. B-16. My super sweet 16. Do it, O-line. That's what we need you to do. Firmly middle of the pack. And uh, I think these Saints will make the playoffs. Wow, just amazing black and gold takes right there, Jake. I don't think I've ever heard any takes that are better than the two guys that just gave you that take. And you can keep getting them by going ahead and liking, subscribing, ringing the bell to get notifications when we post. Have a great day. We'll see you on the next OTB Saints.